Hello YouTube, today I'd like to show you two popular web browser programs and some of their basic functions. The first is useful if you're an avid user of Mozilla Firefox and it's called Zotero. First we'll start off by opening Firefox and then vis visiting Zotero's website which is www.zotero.com. Zotero is open source, which means it's free, and basically functions as an advanced reference program acting as a browser-based personal database. What this means, in more generic terms, is that you are able to store information right in Firefox about any source ranging from offline books and newspapers to online web pages and videos. Let's briefly explore their website to see what information is available. Their homepage has some useful information and links, such as an example of what Zotero looks like, a brief video introduction to Zotero and some of its features, Zotero's minimum requirements, and of course, the link to download Zotero is located here. Their forum section has a wide user base that can probably answer any questions that you may have. The Extend tab features Zotero extensions such as citation styles, translators, plugins, and themes. And finally, the About tab features a brief synopsis on Zotero features and functions as well as another download button. I will quickly walk you through some of the basic functions of Zotero. However, I highly recommend that you check out this Zetor video along with some of their other basic tutorials in the support section. After you downloaded Zotero and installed it into your browser, you should notice a Zotero symbol on the bottom right hand corner of your Mozilla Firefox web browser. You can open the Zotero interface by clicking on this link here or visiting the tools section and clicking on the Zotero that should be listed here or alternatively clicking control alt z combination of keys. First let's start off by visiting Game Sinu's YouTube channel. If you notice up here in the URL bar, there is a file icon. This icon indicates that Zotero recognizes the layout of the web page and will automatically record information to Zotero when clicked. Let's click that now. As you can see, YouTube does not recognize the YouTube channel itself, but in this case, all of its linked videos. So we may select none, one, some, or all of these videos to be recorded. Let's select the first video and hit OK. As you can see, an entry has been added to Zotero, the Game Sinu library that I had created earlier. If you look on the right hand side of the screen, you'll notice that a lot of information has been added uh, along with this entry. Zotero has automatically created and filled in the type of source, which is a video recording, the title, the contributor, some of the video's information, the date that the video was added, the runtime of the video, the URL of the video, the date that the video was accessed, the site that the video was on, and the date that the video was added to our library. You can edit any of this information by simply clicking on it and entering whatever you feel fit. But what if you wanted to add the channel and not any of the individual videos? Well since Zotero cannot automatically recognize and record the channel's information, you will have to manually create a new entry for the channel itself. You can do this by clicking on this link here, which is a create a new item from the current page link. As you'll see when I click it, it creates a new entry based on the information that it can extract from the web page. Now if we examine the info that it extracted, you'll see that it was able to determine the website's name using the website title as seen up here. You can then go and edit this if you so please to make it whatever you want. You can also again edit any of the other information as you feel fit. Another useful feature of Zotero is you're able to add notes to any of your entries. You can do this by clicking on this button right here which will add a generic note to the library that you're in. You can then drag this note to whichever entry you please. You can then edit the note by either double clicking it or single clicking it and editing it in this area over here. If you then click on the entry and then click on notes, you notice that a note has been added. You can add other notes this way by doing that. and the note will automatically be added to that entry. There are other features such as adding attachments, which you can add a link to the file. You can store a copy of the file 
outside of Zotero. You can save a link to the current page, or you can even take a snapshot of the current page. That right there actually added a snapshot of the page that we're on, which is the YouTube channel, and not of the video that we were looking at. So in order to fix this, we can delete that entry, and then visit the video link, which is located here, and was stored when you initially made the entry. This will bring up the entry web page, which in this case happens to be the video. And from here, we can re-highlight the entry, go to Attachments, click Add, and take a snapshot of the current page. What this does is it stores all the information on the page as it was seen at the time you took the snapshot. We can also add tags to our entries, which makes them searchable and a lot easier to find should we need them and have hundreds or thousands even of entries. As you see in this case, Zotero was already able to identify the tags as they're listed on the video. We can click the Add button to add another tag. It will appear on the bottom, and from there we can edit it to say whatever we want. As you can see here, the tag appears in alphabetical order, and now this entry is searchable under that tag and will appear if you type that into the search bar. You can also create new libraries and sub-collections in each library. And I suggest that you play around with the features of Zotero, as well as watch the tutorials and read some of the tutorials as listed on their site.